हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज वृशाली एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट कम्प्लीटली नेटवर्क लेयर एंड ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर ऑफ ओ एस आई मॉडल विथ एग्जाम्पल्स आई हेव मैंशन अ कम्प्लीट कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क सब्जेक्ट प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज एच डी पी एच टी डी पी एस अप्लीकेशन लेयर प्रोटोकॉल्स लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन At the end of this session, you should learn about application layer and their different protocols. We also discuss about HTTP, HTTPS protocols with their request response message format. At the end, we will discuss a question bank. As per your exam point of view, this is one of the most important topic. Now, the first point is what exactly application layer. See, we already discuss about OSI. and tcp ip model in previous session i have mentioned the link of that videos in below description box so application layer is a topmost layer in osi model user can directly interact with application see as a user you can use different types of applications it is social media applications banking applications then different browsers gaming applications are there right means user can interact with front end interface of particular application so this front end interface is called as application layer application layer provide different types of functionality they handle user requested data they transfer the data by using gmail application then user authentication is there they use username password this kind of information so basically they provide the communication between client and the server now the next topic is protocols in application layer there are different types of protocols are used in application layer to perform the smooth communication between client and the server like http hypertext transfer protocol then ftp file transfer protocol smtp simple mail transfer protocol used in gmail application then mime multi purpose internet mail extension then imap internet message access protocol then pop3 post office protocol DNS domain name system then DSCP dynamic host configuration protocol telnet protocol and last one SNMP that is simple network management protocols see this all protocols are used in application layer in today's session we will discuss only http protocols in next some sessions we will discuss in detail with example the remaining protocols now the next point is what exactly http and https protocol so basically these protocols are used in client server model for example there is a client and there is a server client want to search a particular website for example www.google.com so this websites information and communication are performed by using http protocol that is hypertext transfer protocol so basically they provide the communication between client and the server through the internet now what is the difference between http and https protocol so here http stands for hypertext transfer protocol and here s stands for secure they provide a more security than http http is a not secure there is no encryption is performed but in https they provide the secure data HTTP protocol use port number 80 for communication purpose and HTTPS protocol use port number 443 in HTTP protocol data transmitted in plain text the original data is there but in HTTPS protocol all the data are encrypted during the transmission so is encrypted data that is not easy to hack so that's why it provide the secured communication so http is faster than https protocol because they didn't perform encryption technique so http protocols is suitable for only non sensitive websites there are some lower ranking search engines they didn't get any secured data there is no any sensitive data so at that time http protocol is used but there are some essential websites like online banking websites e-commerce applications are there then credit card uh, information we can store right so all the sensitive data purpose https protocol is used so generally 
all the latest search engines they preferred HTTPS protocol because they provide more security to the user. Now see here in this image, this is just a basic example. Suppose there is a user and user want to search a particular website like HTTP www.sitebay.com and their password is abc123 but http protocol doesn't use encryption technique so they send the original password and hackers can easily hack this original password right so on the opposite of that there is a the https protocol here particular users search a particular website like https www.sitesbay.com and their password is abc123 now this https protocol encrypted this password in different particular hashing language so this password is not easy to hack right so they provide the more security so that's why this protocol generally used now the next topic is different functions or uh, features of HTTPS protocol. The first feature is data privacy. Obviously, they use encryption technique and they ensure that all the sensitive information like password, credit card numbers, there are some personal details. So all the sensitive informations are protected from the hackers or any spying purpose. Next one is the integrity. So integrity means receiver received a accurate data. There is no alteration and there is no any changes in data. Receiver re receive accurate, proper data sent by the sender. So they maintain the integrity. Next one is the authentication. Authentication means only authenticate users having access of particular website. So that's why they prevent the information from the attackers. And last one is a trust. Obviously, browsers and users trust a HTTPS website because they provide the more secured communication and reliable connection between client and the server. Now, the next is HTTP versions. There are two types of version. One is a non-persistent, another one is a persistent. So non-persistent version is the oldest one. Nowadays, everywhere, persistent HTTP protocol is used. Now, what is non-persistent HTTP protocol? So their version is HTTP 1.0. For example, suppose a particular client, they request a particular HTML page. And on that page, there are total five images have stored. So by using non-persistent HTTP protocol, they at a time open the six separate connection. For example, first connection is for HTML page. Second to fifth connection is for a particular image means they open an image of each and every image on separate file, separate uh, HTML page, right? So this is called as non-persistent. Here, TCP connection always establish new request response pair. And on the opposite that, nowadays persistent HTTP, that is HTTP 1.1 protocol is used. Here, suppose browser request a particular HTML page and on that HTML page, there are five images have stored. So they fetch all the data at the same time by using same connection, right? Means your TCP connection kept open and reuse multiple request and response protocols. So persistent HTTP is a better one. Now the next and important topic is HTTP request message format. See, assume that there is a client and there is a server. Client want to search a particular website through particular browser. Suppose client open internet explore, uh, client open, suppose uh, Mozilla Firefox, this particular browser, and they search www.example.com, this particular website. Now this browser send HTTP get request to the server, right? So this HTTP get request, this is a use of actual use of this HTTP protocol. Now this HTTP get request include three parameters. First one is a request line, second one is a headers and third one is a body. So this all headers are used in HTML programming languages. Now what is request line? Request line included three parameters, HTTP method, request URL and HTTP version. HTTP method means what actions client want to perform. 
suppose client want to access www.example.com this particular website means they want to get the data right so get method is used next one is a request url means actual path for example there is a index.html this is a first page this is the front page of that particular website so this page is open right and next one is a http version so they use persistent http version like http 1.1 so this is called as http gate request that is gate original actual page index.html and their versions now the second one is a header so again header has total three parameters header stored some additional metadata and sub information about the client first one is a host means domain of the server client want to search exactly www.example.com this particular website this user agent means user agent stored the information about the client means which operating system used by the client like windows operating system windows 64 is there which browser is used that is chrome browser is used so they stored detailed information of the client and last one is the accept accept is specify the media type of the client means they willing to receive data in text in html format right and last one is a body so body tag is a optional part they carry a data sent to the server so typically post and put request method use this body tag so normally this all operations have performed within a second right when client search www.example.com this particular website so browser send all this information to the server server receive this information and send response to the client this is called as request message format now the next one is a response message format now server get all the information from the client and server want to send response to the client so the first one is there is again three parameters are there response time headers and body okay suppose client search www.example.com this website browser send uh, this all information to the server so server first check response line response line has total three parameters first http version version of http that is http 1.1 then status code there are total three digit code is there 200 means success this website is actually present 404 error means the website is not found and 500 means there is server error so server check all this information and this website is actually present then they said 200 this status code right and next one is a status message so basically status message means simply the status code message 200 means okay website is found 404 means not found and internal server error is there so this is called as response line now the next one is a header so again header stored some additional metadata or uh, some specific information about response first they stored the content type means which type of content on there basically this is a website so html page is there right next content length so the length the size of particular page that will be counted in bytes format next one is a server means all the information are stored on the server so which type of server is used for example apache server is there and their proper version is there and next one is a date date means which type of date and time is used when response was sent so this all information are identify response message format and last one is a body so body means actual content client search www.example.com and client get the particular website within a second right so the actual content is called as body so server is used all this content and sending back as a response to the client request so this is called as response message format so this is all about this protocols as per your exam point of view this three are the important question like what is the difference between persistent and non persistent http explain http request and response message format for 8 marks so here in this question you have to mention http request there are three parameters 
like response uh, request line header and body and uh, also you have to mention in detail response message format then what is http the request reply message six marks and short note on https protocol for four marks so you have to prepare all this question for exam purpose so this is all about thank you keep learning